How's it going everyone? My name is Arthur and in today's video we're going to be going through the top apps I use on my Mac for organisation and productivity. To make sure your desktop is clean and your files are super organised so you can spend less time working and more time doing things you love. So the first one today is called Better Touch Tool. And what it does is it allows you to create your own shortcut commands for pretty much any action on your Mac. But what's really cool is that the commands aren't just activated through a keyboard shortcut, but it could be through using a trackpad or a mouse gesture, a Siri remote, or what I like the most is you can create your own touch bar button. So first of all, you have to select what you want to use to activate the command. So I'm gonna go with touch bar. Then you have to select what action you want the command to trigger. So these are all the actions and there are so many. For example, the ones I use the most in OSX functionality are to turn dark mode on and off and to start my screensaver. But there are loads of others. It's really nice to have a quick access button in the touch bar to switch in and out of dark mode when I'm working late at night. And I really like being able to turn my screensaver on quickly because I have very minimal clock so when I'm not on my laptop I can use it to keep track of time but limit distractions. Or you can have it set to open an application or web page. So if you have particular pages or processes that you use for work you'll definitely be able to set a command for it which just makes it easier and saves you time. So the main reason that I prefer using a larger laptop is just having the extra screen real estate. It gives you more space to work with so you can have multiple windows open. That's why I love POC. So POC is a free app that displays your dock in your touch bar. And by doing this, it allows you to remove your dock completely, which creates more space on your screen. And there have actually been studies that increasing your monitor size improves productivity more than increasing computer speed. I can enable people to complete tasks up to 52% quicker. So something I find hugely frustrating on my Mac is when I get a message saying my disk space is full. And it pretty much happens every time I make a video. It just means I have to stop what I'm doing, figure out what I can delete or move over to my external hard drive, and my productivity goes rocketing down. So that's where these next two apps come in handy. So the first one is called Daisy Disk. And what it does is it gives you a visual representation of what's on your Mac by color coding the files. This is really useful because you can see what are the really big files that are taking up all the space in your laptop. It's really simple and easy to use. So the first thing you need to do is scan the drive, like so. And then if we take this purple section here, which is my applications, you can see my largest application is Total War Warhammer. So if I want to delete it, you just click on it and drag it down to the bottom and I will have already freed 50.8 gigabytes. But if you decide actually, you know what, I don't want to delete it, you can just click on the bar and then X off it. But um, let's take a different section, let's go with the yellow. Now this is my biggest section which is my iTunes library. Now each of the small sections around the edge is a different movie. So. I really should get rid of some of the movies on my laptop because I have way too many and they're taking up the majority of the space. So the other one, which is an alternative to Daisy Disk and is also free, is called App Cleaner. Basically, when you delete an app, you don't actually delete all the files that are associated with that app. So what App Cleaner does is it finds all those related files and makes sure you delete everything. So just as an example, if I had deleted Aperture without using App Cleaner, I would have missed all of these files. Which is great, because otherwise over time, your disk space become more and more full with files you don't even use. The next one is called Jest Timer, and it's all about using your time really productively. So it allows you to set reminders for yourself, but it does it in a really cool way. So, to set a reminder, you drag the icon down and it shows you how long until it'll go off and what time it'll be then. 
Then if you let go, you can write a short description like uh, maths lecture, group meeting, go to the gym, things like that. Then if you click on the icon, you can see all your reminders. So you can plan your day really efficiently. So the next app is called Endurance, and it's all about increasing the battery life of your laptop. It saves power by dimming your screen, monitoring the apps that are using the most battery power. It also puts the background apps you're not using to sleep, as well as slowing down your processor. And by doing all of these things, it'll increase the battery life of your laptop by up to 20%, which is really useful if you haven't got your charger or if you're traveling or on the go. You can also select which processes you want endurance to carry out, so you can suit it to the tasks you're doing. The final app today is called Bartender. So I like to keep my desktop really clean and minimal, but pretty much all of these apps appear at the top in the menu bar, and I just find it so distracting and think it looks messy. But what Bartender does is it hides them. And then to view them again, all you have to do is click on the Bartender icon. If you want, you can hide absolutely everything, giving it a really clean, minimal look. However, I like to keep these standard icons as well as just timer, just so I have easy access to my reminders. So you can see the bartender icon at the top. And what I like to do is set it as invisible. So as you can see, it's gone. And then I set a hotkey, which is a keyboard shortcut such as option B, B for bartender, just so it's easy to remember. And what that does is when you press it, it displays the hidden bartender icons that only you know are there. You could also use vanilla, which is basically a free version of Bartender. However, there aren't as many customization options, but it's definitely worth checking out. So there you have it, my favorite apps for organizing my Mac. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found the video helpful, and I will see you all in the next one.